apostrophes, interactive unit, contractions, and possessive nouns. Introduction. What is an apostrophe? An apostrophe is a type of punctuation mark that goes above a letter in a word. So like in won't, the apostrophe is between the N and the T. In I'm, it's between the I and the M. In errands, it's between the N and the S. And didn't, it's between the N and the T. There are two ways to use apostrophes. So you can use them in contractions. We didn't win the game. Didn't is considered a contraction. And that is a word made by shortening and combining two words. Or in possessives, as in my sister's iPhone broke a word that shows ownership or that it belongs to someone. This is a common mistake with apostrophes. Our dogs are always chewing our shoes and socks in the house. You cannot put an apostrophe in every word that ends with S because those are simply plural. More than one dog, more than one shoe, and more than one sock. So apostrophes and contractions. Contractions, definition, a word made by shortening and combining two words. An example is, we're going to Florida because we can't stand the cold winter here. What two words are represented in each contraction above? So in the first one, we're, it's we are, and here it is can not. What contractions do you already know? So here are some common ones. I am, I apostrophe M, we are, we apostrophe RE, could not, couldn't, and apostrophe T takes the place of the O, and here it takes the place of the A, and this also takes the place of the A that the apostrophe does. Did not, didn't, that apostrophe is taking the place of the O. You are, your, that apostrophe is taking the place of the A. He will, he'll, takes a pro, the apostrophe takes the place of the W and the I. And I would, I'd, takes the place of the W-O-U-L, will not, this is an irregular one, where we take away the I-L-L and replace it with O-N apostrophe T. In a contraction, the apostrophe takes a place of the omitted or the left out letters. Practice it. Type in the correct contraction on the, on the right for the following sets of words on the left. So for this one, I'll. I will is going to be I'll. Oop, sorry about that. Yep. Okay, we're going to make this a little bit bigger and bold. Okay, so that's I'll. Copy this. Okay, she is is going to be she's. That apostrophe is taking the place of the I and is. Wouldn't. Would not becomes wouldn't. That apostrophe takes the place of the O and not. Don't. Apostrophe T, again, it's taking the place of the O. You'd. You'd rather have a hamburger than a hot dog. That apostrophe takes the place of the W-O-U-L, and there, the apostrophe takes the place of the A. So here we're going to type a sentence that has a contraction in it. She's the only one in the classroom. And then we're going to use...
and we highlighted it yellow. She's. Okay. So now we're going to mark if they're right or wrong. If the contraction is being used correctly with the correct apostrophe, drag the check next to it. If it's being used incorrectly, drag the X next to it. So the first one says, I enjoy spring, but I can't wait for summer. They did use it correctly. The apostrophe is taking the place of the O, so we're going to drag a check mark there. I'm going to the mall later with my friends. Here it is incorrect because they did not put an apostrophe between the I and the M to take the place of the A, so that is incorrect. Before we go to the movies, we're stopping at the store for snacks. We're is short way of saying we are, and they did not put the apostrophe where they should have. They used one, but it should have been between the E and the R, not the R and the E, so that is going to be incorrect. Sam didn't try out for basketball because he was already on the wrestling team. Remember, this stands for did not, so that apostrophe should be between the N and the T to replace the O, so this is not correct. And last one, please don't spill your juice on the new couch, my mom said. This do not, that apostrophe is taking the place of the O in not. Choose a sentence below that uses an apostrophe correctly in a contraction. I couldn't find my homework this morning, so there's no apostrophe there, so that's not it. I couldn't with the apostrophe between the D and the N, which is not correct because it's not filling in for the missing letter. Find my homework this morning. I couldn't find my homework this morning, so could not. There should be an O there. The apostrophe is taking its place, so that's probably the correct answer. Or I could not find my homework this morning. There is no contraction at all there, so we're going to type in C. Which contraction is the correct combination of these two words? Will not, won't, 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 or will not. Remember, this is the irregular one where you have to change the letter, so it's going to be B, won't. Which contraction is the correct combination of these two words? They are there with the apostrophe between the Y and the R there with the apostrophe between the R and the E, there with no apostrophe at all, and then they are, which there's no apostrophe there either, and we're basically just pushing them together, writing the same letters. So remember, we're replacing the A with the apostrophe, so this is a correct one, A. All right, now apostrophes and possessives. Possessive nouns are words that show ownership or belonging. So an example, my mom's house is blue and has a huge backyard. What is the noun that shows ownership? That is mom. And what she's owning is the house. What do you notice about where each apostrophe is below? So for a singular, that dog's fur is so soft is between the G and the S in dogs. That's when one person or thing owns something. However, if it's plural, those dogs' leashes are all tangled. The apostrophe goes after the S of dogs. It makes it plural. And this is used when more than one person or thing owns something. So if it's plural, it goes after the S. If it's singular, it goes before the S. So let's look at singular possession. One person or thing owns something. Who owns something and what is being owned? Sarah's hair is brown. Sarah is a who and her hair is what's being owned. My grandma's cookies are amazing. Grandma is the who. The cookies are the thing that is being owned. Jordan's mom is always working hard. Jordan, actually, yes, Jordan 
is who owns something, and what she owns is her mom. Brazil's rivers are some of the longest in the world. Who is owning something, Brazil, and what are they owning? Their rivers. My teacher's classroom is so colorful. Teacher, that's a who's owning, and what that teacher's owning is the classroom. Okay, so we've got to edit the following sentences by adding an apostrophe in the correct place to show singular possession, meaning one person owns it. So in that case, remember, it's going to go before the S. After John, excuse me, John's guitar is brand new. And the next one, it says, after going to the dentist, my sister's, between the R and the S, because it's before the S, mouth was numb. Sister is a noun. She's owning her mouth. John is a noun. He's owning the guitar. So you try. Here we are going to type a sentence as a singular possessive noun. The cat's eyes are big. And we're going to highlight the possessive noun. Right here. Okay. This, if you need to go back to the lesson, you'd click those question marks. Okay, now more than one person or thing owns something. So remember, the cat's toys are everywhere. Cats, more than one, and they're owning the toys. Your friend's shirts match today. The friends are the who, and their shirts is what they're owning. All the classroom's walls are blue. Classrooms is the plural noun, and what they're owning are the walls. Those cars' tires are flat. Cars, and what they're owning are their tires that are flat. And then the plant's leaves are withering. Plants is the who. Leaves are the what is being owned. Okay, now we're going to edit these by adding the apostrophe in the correct place for the plural possession. All my friends, and remember this is after the yes if it's more than one, sleeping bags were in the tent. Their three dogs... Toys, remember the dogs own the toys, were all chewed up, and it's go, going to go after the S because it is plural. Now we're going to make our own sentence with a plural possessive. The girl's toys were all over the room. Girls is my who, and what they're owning is the toys. I've got a highlight. Girls. There we go. All right. Last one. Singular versus plural. Add the apostrophe. Drag and drop the apostrophe below to the correct place in each sentence. My two kittens. This is more than one. So we're going to put it after the S. Beds were on the floor. Jenna's friends live right down the road. It's just one Jenna. So it's before the S. And then our house's door is bright blue. Just talking about one, so it's going to go before the S up a little bit. There we go. All right, so now we're going to go review. The students' projects are due tomorrow. My brother's soccer ball is out in the garage, and we're so excited to go to dinner, go out to dinner. In the boxes below, drag the sentence from the bottom that matches the type of apostrophe used in the boxes. So this is for a contraction. So this is not a contraction. Brothers is not a contracted. 
contraction, but we're so excited to go out to dinner, does, because that apostrophe is taking the place of the A and we are. Now we're looking for the singular possession. So the student's projects, that's more than one project, are due tomorrow, and more than one student. My brother's soccer ball is out in the garage. We're talking about one brother. So we're going to move that to singular, and so that's going to go to plural because there's more than one student. Now you try in the boxes below, type an example of each type of apostrophe used in a complete sentence. So they want the contraction or the singular possession or the plural possession in a complete sentence. That means it needs to express a complete idea. I don't want to do my homework. Okay, don't is our contraction. My mom's house is clean. Mom's is the singular possession. What belongs to her, the house. Dogs. Start this with the dog's breath smelled bad. I'm talking about more than one dog, all of their breath smelled bad. All right, got our answers here. Hope you learned about possessives and contractions and how apostrophes are used.